Hi guys, uh, my name is Vijay and today we'll discuss about uh, the aggregated transformation in Informatica. So I'll show you how to see uh, aggregated transformation will work. My source is uh, EMP table and uh, my target would be also an uh, table. So I've dragged uh, source uh, into target designer source as target and then you have to rename the target name and then you have to generate an SQL so while that is happening let me show you what is uh, I have in my source table let me connect to my source database so it's been connected to source database select star from EMP1 so this is my source table uh, this is an EMP table source table you can see I have 18 records so let's try to use an uh, aggregated transformation to calculate the sum of salary and the average of salary for all this 18 employees so let's go back to target design it's asking to rename the name because we are I already have a EMP one uh, and my target so let's name it as EMP underscore aggregator so EMP underscore aggregator now as I said that we'll calculate um, the sum and uh, the average for salary we have to create two new ports and uh, we have to name them some salary and average salary change the data type to support a data type that is number PS so I have created two new ports some salary average salary click apply click OK so Let's go ahead and uh, generate an SQL. Let's go ahead and create this table. So I'm creating this uh, table in my target account that is Vera. Generate and execute. So you can see that uh, the table has been created. Save it. It's been saved. So now click on uh, designer Let's go ahead and uh, create mapping the mapping name would be m underscore emp underscore aggregator click ok and uh, drag both source and target to mapping designer so my target name is emp underscore aggregator so what are we doing using aggregator we can calculate a few values uh, over here I'm used to showing you how to calculate some salary and average salary but using aggregate we can calculate uh, the multiple uh, values I'll show you what all the values we can calculate using aggregator so before aggregator you should always use the sorter transformation for best results you can also you can use it or you if you want you may not also you can avoid it but uh, using the sorter transformation before uh, the aggregated transformation will always give you a good result so use the sorter transformation so I have selected uh, this shorter uh, shortcut and uh, created the sorter expression copy all the tabs to sorter expression and what are we doing what are we sorting so before sending the data to aggregated transformation we I would like to sort the department number I would like to sort the department number and from ascending order so that it would be easy for the expression transformation sorry aggregated transformation to calculate the values which are grouped by department number which are sorted by department number 
So now the aggregated transformation. So in order to create a transformation, click on transformation, click on create, select the aggregator. You can also you can also choose from here. So I'm showing you this example, but I always choose to choose from the shortcut. Copy all the ports from this auto transformation to aggregator transformation. Double click. And what are we doing here? We want to calculate two uh, total salary and some salary. So for that, we need to create two new ports: total salary and some salary. So not total salary. Uh, I'm sorry. Some sal. Some sal change the data type to support a data type and average cell decimal so we are calculating some salary average salary and we are grouping by group by salary so we're grouping by salary so that uh, the salary port will be grouped and accordingly the sum salary and average salary will be calculated so as you know the expressions are only calculated in output ports so I have unchecked the input port output port now see as I said that we can calculate multiple uh, we have multiple options in aggregate count first last maximum median minimum percentile uh, SCDDF sum and variance but over here we are calculating salary some salary so double click on sum and in bracket choose port salary select validate it's been validated click OK the same uh, same manner select aggregate and over here we are doing average calculating average of salary so when I selected average it will give you the value average and in bracket you have to put in the port for which you want to calculate the average value selected salary click on validate click OK so we are calculating sum and salary and uh, I have selected salary as group by so that it will be easy for and before aggregate transformation I have um, included total transformation and I have selected the department number I've selected department number as a key and I've selected it from ascending order so that the department number will be sorted before aggregate transformation department number will be sorted from the ascending order which means from 10 20 and 30 accordingly the calculations will be done in the aggregated transformation now we have to calculate okay we have to copy all the ports uh, from the aggregated transformation to the target definition so we're done with mapping clicking on save the mapping is valid and I have launched the workflow monitor it takes some time and uh, in that process let me connect to the target account this is my target account So target has been connected and uh, this is the target table. And we still haven't uh, created any task or created any workflow, but still I would like to see whether the description of the table has been created or not. Okay, no row selected, which means the description is being selected created so only the workflow monitor is being launched try to connect it and Let's go ahead and create a task for the mapping which we have created. Okay. 
here we have to name the task we have to name the mapping let's copy it from the mapping T underscore So what is our mapping name? M underscore EMP underscore aggregator. This is a mapping name. Task has been created. And we have to check the connections. The source is a relational database and my source database name is uh, star oracle and the target should be mapped to target account database that is Vera and the target load type should be normal it's auto transformation okay aggregated transformation all the connections looks good apply okay now we'll go ahead and create a workflow workflow name starts with w as workflow and then we will include the task name underscore emp underscore aggregator okay now from the sessions drag the task which we just created t underscore emp underscore aggregator link it save the workflow the workflow is getting saved and works the workflow is saved you can start the task from here right click on start workflow from task and uh, and uh, powers into workflow monitor you can uh, observe okay it's still running to the bottom preparing to run you can see there both the task and workflow both are running yeah taking more than expected time okay the task has been succeeded and even the workflow has been succeeded now let's go ahead and watch uh, let's go ahead and see the target table so the get table, so the same table. You can see now. You can see the sum has been calculated, the sum salary has been calculated, and the average salary has been calculated for uh, all the associates. Thank you for watching my video. Thanks.